And this is the second edition of Brazing with the Oxygen Acetylene Torch. In this edition, I've added some things that I feel will be helpful. Now the torch, the Oxygen Acetylene Torch, marvelous piece of equipment because you can do so many things with it. You can braze, you can weld, you can silver solder, you can anneal. And for example, let's say that you've got a piece of 5 8 inch round stock and you want to form it into some type of shape. You can use the torch as a heat source to get it to red hot so that you can begin to form it. Just so many things that you can do with the oxygen settling torch. For this video I decided I'd just buy a new torch outfit. And this is a Victor Performer. I like Victor and the Performer is the perfect size torch. You definitely do not want a large torch for what we're going to be doing. But the Performer is a small torch and it's easy to hold in your hand for hours. We open this up and we have two regulators. This is the oxygen regulator and you always know that because it's green. This is the acetylene and it is red. This is the performer torch handle. It's nice and small. This is the cutting attachment. You use this to cut steel with. And this is a welding brazing tip. Now this unit comes with just one tip. And we'll talk about this later, but you'll be wanting to add a few more tips here, a couple different sizes. Now this is, this is a good size. It's an OTT. And that's what I use most of the time, is an OTT tip. OTT meaning just one zero. And then you go to smaller, and the two OTT, and the three OTT. Those are for finer work. So you'll, we'll talk about this later, but you do, you will want to you know, uh, add to your tip selection. And this also comes with an instruction manual, and you'll want to read this thoroughly. And when I take this out of here, here are your hoses. Once again, the acetylene is always red, and the oxygen is green. These go from your regulators to your torch handle. To braze, we need brazing rod. Now we can either use a bare bronze rod or a flux covered rod. Now this is the flux covered brazing rod and this is the bare bronze. Now if we're going to use bare bronze rod, we need to heat this up and then we'll stick it into a powdered flux and then start to braise. Now, the brazing rod, what we're using here is 332nd. And that's pretty standard for brazing. Now, if you're going to braise very heavy material, then you're going to want to go up to 1 8 or even up to 3 16 But for most brazing, 332nd will do the job. And this rod comes in 36 inch lengths. The acetylene, the oxygen. Here we're going to open up the acetylene. Now we're going to open up the oxygen. And we have a neutral flame. That's neutral like you put your car in neutral. Okay, let's do that again. Open up the acetylene sparker. Add the oxygen. Bring it back to a neutral flame. And again, this is 16 ounce copper. So what I'm going to do is heat this up to it's red hot. Now if you notice, I play my flame back and forth. OK, 
okay because I just don't want to stay on one spot too long or I'll just burn a hole in it but I do want to get it so it's all red hot now that it's cool it is just so soft you can maneuver this in almost any direction so if you wanted to do shapes you can you can do that and just keep working until you get the shape that you want or close to it until you feel that it's starting to get stiff then heat it up to its red hot and let it cool you just be amazed at all the things that you can do with copper now here's an interesting brazing situation I want to put a petal right here but if I'm not careful I can melt where I've joined all the spokes together and that piece of scrap metal is just actually working as a shield just to shield the heat from the spokes below